If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. So we're doing something a little bit different today. And uh, I like it. I always love when we share some of the behind the scenes stuff going on with people because I think people appreciate, especially those that are entrepreneurs trying to build a business. And, you know, the last couple months, I've been secretly courting some companies. Well, we've been, we've been, we've been courted. Yo, we're the ones that are getting courted. We've, uh, for a while now, ever since the inception of Mind Pump, we've been approached by lots of companies to do sponsorships. And most of them are supplement companies. And those of you who are regular listeners know our thoughts on most supplements. Did we tell the Did we tell the audience that we were that at one point we almost were going to do our own line and we looked into all that and we were no no we never told them but at one point we were because there's a huge demand. A lot of our um, our fans want uh, access uh, to a, a good quality protein shake. It's probably one of the most popular questions. That mm-hmm. I get is what if you do take supplements, what do you recommend? Or right. if I if I do yeah. take protein powder, well, yeah, 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 we understand where your guy's stance is, but yeah, yeah. you know, if well, we get one, where am I going to get one? Well, because I know that, and that's why I've always fought us on this topic that we always advocate one whole foods, two that you know the the amount of recommendation that the average magazine's giving is way inflated by supplement companies so they can sell their protein bars. But I still have a hard time hitting my protein intake and I've had to continue to sell and I tried not to and I saw a major difference. Well, so I, I okay, it's let's be honest here. I was the most difficult. I am the most difficult person to convince on this for many different reasons. One of which is I don't react well to even good supplements. And what I mean by that is they could be organic. They could be all these different things. And that doesn't mean that my body, my body's very sensitive. I have very sensitive gut. Tummy issues. Yeah. That's right. Tummy yeah. issues. Um, and I'm also very, you know, wellness oriented. And um, so we've tried products in the past and just, they don't, they just don't work. There's very few companies that I've actually, that I'll actually work with, number one, because I don't necessarily like the, you know, uh, what goals they have or what their models are, or what they're Most trying to do. Most of them are cutting corners. And they're Let's cutting corners. They're not good quality don't like the people owning the companies, don't like the products themselves. And so it's very rare that we find one that we even consider. And then there's another process of a t- us testing products to see if we like them. Well, Organifi, um, I actually was first aware of them a while ago. Um, Adam had used their protein and had talked about them. Then we got approached by them. And one of their products, uh, I tried all the products that they gave us and they all were great. Um, but there's a product that I use regularly anyway, which is a probiotic. And I use their probiotic, and I loved it, which uh, probiotics for me are hit or miss. And this is one of the few that actually worked really well for me, and I like I mean, when you talk, you, you'll, you'll hear the episode. When, well, before we even decided that we were going to do something with them, aside from all of us trying it, all passing all that test, we also wanted to uh, call and talk to the CEO, Drew. And, you know, what I thought would be really neat was, hey, let's record this. Let's fucking yeah. put, let's put them on, record them, and let's ask them the questions that we'd want to ask them. And if it ends up being something that we can use as content later, we will. So yeah, I, hopefully I, he answers it well. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we're well, like throwing and, and, it out there. And he did. And I thought yeah. that this, I think this also gives you guys kind of an idea of what it's like for us, the type of conversations that we're having with these guys. This was behind the scenes uh, talking to, is it cannoli? Is that yeah, how you say yeah, it? Cannoli's yeah. Cannoli is his last name. Makes me hungry. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. Um, no, but we you know, had a nice conversation with him. So you guys can kind of hear a little bit of the behind the scenes um, in terms of you know working out this partnership with his company, Organifi. It's a trial partnership. It's a trial sponsorship. We're going to work with them and see how it works. But from our side, we like their products. We like what they stand for. We like where they source their products. We like what they flavor their products with. They don't use anything that's artificial. Um, so it's good stuff. They did give us a code because we did say, hey, if we do this, uh, we do want to offer some kind of value to our audience. Right. Um, so there is a discount code. So if you do decide you want to try Organifi products, uh, use the coupon code MINDPUMP and that gives you uh, 20% off. And their website, I believe, is Organifi.com. Um, so without any further ado, here we are talking to the uh, CEO. But before we drop in, I, I want for those that are listening, it took us a very long time 
to do this. And I, and I, and I know some people will be turned off by it because that's just what happens. We can't fucking make everybody happy. And if you don't want to listen to an episode where all we're talking to somebody about supplements and this episode isn't for you anyways, but for those of you that are interested in this and, and have been supporting mind pumps at the beginning, um, you guys supporting this company is helping us. We don't make any more commission on the you guys buying and selling. They're a full blown sponsorship. They pay us for uh, for being a sponsor on Mind Pump. So us just being affiliated with them, we make our money. We don't make any more money for you guys buying supplements or not. You can buy zero supplements and we still get paid. But what I want is your guys' help and support with this because we really like this company. And we actually, after talking with Drew several times now, we know too that we have an opportunity to actually influence part of the direction that this company may go. And this could be a huge relationship mm-hmm. for us down the road with somebody a side of the business that none of us really want to deal with but yeah. we know is important and there's we a huge flirted thing. with it and realized you know what really goes into it and and this is something that for us to stay you know focused and that's what we've figured out with this business is like we get so you know drawn to great ideas and um you know we want to just like focus that we're, we're going to provide awesome quality content and guests. And we're just going to keep doing the shit out of this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's right. Next, next month we're going to head down there, go check the facility out, do some footage with them, meet with them, talk to not only drew, but then the rest of his team. Cause the, we are really excited about this relationship. We hope to do some big things with them down the road. We love the direction they're going on in social media, what they're doing with supplements and hope that mind pump can help influence them with your guys's help also, which you know, there's a lot of things that that have been shared on our forum, what people are asking for. I believe that if we do well, when we first take off with this product, we will be able to influence a lot of the direction that this company is going. So uh, this is me asking you guys, those of you guys that have been Mind Pump family for a long time, or even if you're just coming on right now for your support uh, with us helping launching this with them, Organifi, you, the spell Organifi is O R G A N. I-F-I, so it's I.com, so Organifi.com, and it's 20% off when you put Mind Pump in at the checkout. And, you know, uh, they're a quick-growing company, and we see potential to move the entire supplement industry in this direction, so we appreciate your support, Uh, but without any further ado, uh, no interruptions here, here we are talking to you, Drew. Wait, just kidding. We we waited a really long time. In fact, we turned it. We have ton, turned down all kinds of supplement companies and talked all kinds of shit. And oh my, yeah. <laughs> definitely waited because we're like, if we're going to do this, it's got to be with somebody that we can do this for the long Reputable. haul with. Yeah, yeah, and we can tie ourselves. So we're all pretty excited. I've been using uh, your shakes and your green juice for quite some time. So it's pretty neat how this is all came out and worked out because uh, it was really tough for us to partner or align with anybody because of all the information that we give and what we talk about with supplementation on the show. Um, But it's just because there's a lot of shit product out there. Yeah, tons of crap. People are just trying to make as much money and profit as much as possible without really thinking about the ingredients and the farms and everything that really goes into it. And when their products get tested by these independent laboratories, it's like it's horrible what you'll end up seeing. And then, you know, you've got protein powder spiking their protein to make their numbers look better. And most supplements are artificially flavored. And we've we're gonna had big stances against artificial flavoring. And so we've had lots of supplements, you know, sent to us to test and whatnot. And uh, actually, all of us have actually used uh, Organifi before. You guys uh, have sent us uh, sent us your samples, and for me personally, uh, our audience knows that I have uh, issues. Uh, I have gut issues that I tend to have to deal with, and very few protein powders um, and supplements will work with me. Yours is one of the few that ever did work 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 for me um, uh, that I could actually take, Adam is a pro physique competitor um, and he's probably the biggest user of protein powders and you know he really liked your products as well. I'd like to know kind of what got you started in uh, this industry and, and what you know what the the I yeah guess, what motivated you to go in the organic direction in the first place. I mean you've been cranking uh, chipping away at it for some time now. What led you that yeah. direction? Um, it was you guys talk a lot about this but really it was my own transformation. 
And it was six and a half years ago. I was 40 pounds overweight. I was in the gym two hours a day. I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see. I felt lazy, lethargic. I didn't really have like a purpose for my life. I was just kind of going through the motions. And uh, a gentleman introduced me to my first green juice. And it was literally like three ingredients made of superfoods similar to the same Organifi green juice that we have today. And it literally, after having that one juice, 16 ounces, I felt this even keel, calm uh, energy come over me all day long. And I didn't need a coffee in the afternoon like I had normally had or took a nap. You know, Most of the time I was taking a nap. So I had that green juice and then the bubble popped or that light bulb. And we, as human beings, get light bulbs every once in a while, maybe every five years. But there's only a few of them that we get throughout our whole entire lives. And this was one that I was like, all right, Nobody's talked about juicing organic veggies in a long time. Jack LaLanne, 1950s. Jay Cordich, he's in his 90s. He's still beating on the drum of Mother Nature's medicine, all this other stuff. But nobody was on YouTube really doing it. And I'm like, you know, the way the trends are happening, YouTube's happening. I love it. It's really something that can change somebody's life if they just started having one green juice a day. Regardless of how much money I could make in the process of making these videos, I did it because I wanted to change people's lives. And sure enough, I continued to do it. And in 90 days, I lost the weight. I was posting it on Facebook, on YouTube. And in the period of about 90 days, I had like 70,000 fans. And I'm like, all right, well, this is pretty cool. I got a bunch of people that are getting healthy. What else can I show them? What else can I do for them? So over the past six and a half years, we've done two videos every single week. We got Mindset Monday and Saturday Strategy. We've been giving away a juicer for the past six and a half years, once a week to somebody who writes in a testimonial or a transformational story that they've had. Very cool. Where they've lost weight. Um, Maybe they're using Organifi green juice or a protein. They've healed some of their gut issues, their leaky gut, whatever it is. And um, we've grown this community of about 4.2 million followers now across all platforms And it's cool to see the emails and the testimonials coming in, rolling in every single day um, of what is real. You know, it's from the earth. It's organic. It's uh, from local farms that have really, really good soil that's loaded with manganese and uh, iron and all these other minerals that sometimes our soil is inept of today because of the big farm and big ag and everything's just depleting. So now we like to take the opposite stand. That's Fit Life TV on YouTube, right? That we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fit so, Life TV on YouTube, and then Facebook we have juicing vegetables, and then the Drew Canoli fan page as well. Now, and uh, it's just really blown up. Drew, how did you know? Now, how did you know to go these directions? As far as like, I mean, you you talk about turmeric, you talk about all kinds of great stuff, natural things. Other, where did you get your information? And what led you down this? I know, obviously, your own personal transformation, but how did you know what to go after and what was going to help people? Yeah, when I started juicing, literally, I um, I had to. I started having more vivid. This is going to sound really woo woo. You're all, whoever's listening to this, they're going to be like, "Wow, this guy's crazy." But yeah. I started. We've had, we've had Paul like, check on here, bro. You're going to be okay. They're prepared. Paul check's been on. <laughs> then I can go down this path a little bit for sure. <laughs> Because that guy, oh my God, Paul he, Check. He's as woo-woo as they come, right? In the fitness he industry. Is, right. He is. So all right. You're all right, bro. Comes. <laughs> I was having these lucid dreams, and I was back in ancient Egypt. I was um, talking to Hippocrates and these, these people of the past and looking and observing what they were creating and what they were doing. And I would wake up, and I'd be like, all right, well, now we're taking medicine that's used to treat something that's already in existence in the human body. Why aren't we... Uh, fixing it before it exists. And then the more I would go down the path of ancient medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine, all of these holistic ways of healing this amazing miracle of a machine everyone has access to, the more I became involved with uh, spreading the message as well. And um, it's been amazing. Let food be thy medicine. That's what he said. Yeah. Now, your when did your when did you guys launch your first uh, product? When did your first product hit the market? So, Organifi Green Juice uh, launched November of 2013, I believe. Mm-hmm. The very beginning of 2014. Uh, we were at a place in our business where we were. I had like 12 employees. I was doing a bunch of videos. I was helping the world, but we weren't making any money. And I'm like, the business was about to go out. Fit Life TV was about to be no more. 
And I remember all of us sitting around a table at Vitality Tap, this local juice bar in San Diego. And we just took a moment to acknowledge each other and tell each other how grateful we are for one another. And um, this is at a point where we were two weeks before the green juice launch. And literally that energy, I believe, changed everything about the dynamics of the company because in two weeks, we literally sold out of Organifi green juice five times in a row. We couldn't get enough green juice in for the world in the community that we had actually built. And then the testimonials and case studies just continue to pour in daily from people that are, are healing themselves. Now, from it. what's interesting, Luke, hey. when you launched your products, uh, it wasn't super popular. In fact, it was probably, if you had talked to people in the industry, they probably would have advised you against uh, doing organic, non-artificially sweetened uh, products. It was There were almost none. I mean, I remember trying to find a protein powder that wasn't uh, artificially sweetened. Oh, that dude, was organic. Six, six years ago, that was almost or, impossible. Or three years ago, even. It was very difficult. There weren't very many. And you're starting to see the market shift a little bit. Like, what what made you go down that route? Was it just being true to what you were looking for? Or what was it just foresight yeah. into how the industry was going? Well, all the research that I had done about pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, things that are put into our food, it made me sick to my stomach because cancer rates on the rise, obesity, all these diverse diseases are happening all around us, the people that we love. And I'm like, all right, well, what would I take if I was to consume something every single day, multiple times a day? And what would I want my mom who has had cancer? You know, 30 years ago, um, she had cancer and luckily she healed it. But who am I going to give that to? Who am I, what am I going to give to my family? And I wouldn't give them something that wasn't completely 100% organic just because of the risk. Even though it, it costs a little bit more to produce and our spread may not be as high from a business standpoint. I mean, there's some products I probably pay five times as much as these other protein companies and, and superfood companies that aren't using organic. And that's okay with me because I sleep at night knowing that the thousands of customers that we have that are subscribers know that we do have the best products in the country and the world. And um, it's awesome. So that's why we went down that route. It's more of a a personal integrity thing that I have. Everything that I want to do in my life, I want to leave behind at the highest level possible. And um, it just, it shows because our, we've literally 5X our business every year since launching Organifi. We've been on the Inc. 500 twice. Like, it's no joke, you know, it's, it's real and it's mother nature's medicine and it's been awesome. Were you all alone when you started this? Were you by yourself or did you have a team? Like how did that all play out? Yeah, I was, you know, I was this crazy dude with an HD flip cam everywhere I'd go. I was like filming these vlog videos six and a half years ago. I would go to local farmer's markets. Everybody was probably like, who is this guy? Like he smells like patchouli and he's in Whole Foods like (laughs) buying 70 pounds of veggies every other day. Like this guy is crazy. (laughs) Um, But, you know, it turned into something with wheels and um, sure enough, people that saw the message and they saw the testimonials coming in. Uh, my COO quit his job as an aeroscience engineer. He was like building drones and building these like artificial intelligent robots to like destroy other countries and stuff like that. And he's like, I'm giving all that up because I want to change the planet and heal the world. I'm I'm tired of building these death machines. And uh, and he's just a rocket. He's literally a rocket scientist. He was building like missiles and stuff. Oh, so now wow. he's like working on funnels and and really helping us with our messaging and you know, sure enough, everybody that's been here has had a life transformation of some point. And similar to you guys, probably. I mean, the people that you attract, the vibe attracts your tribe. Right. And that's exactly what Organifi is. It's heart centered people that have had transformation in their life and they just want to give it back to as many people as possible. Well, it's kind of neat how we got to you because if you go back and you listen to the his, I mean, I think it was maybe episode, it was one of the first 10 or 15 episodes we came out and really came hard after supplements. And that's because we, we definitely advocate whole foods, right? We tell people get whole or natural foods and that should be where most of your diet's from. And be careful, most of these supplement companies are just preying on your insecurities to get you to buy more shit. And so oh, a lot of that was our message. But yet, if you go to all of our houses, every, every one of us has a cupboard and we have supplements inside there, but we supplement based on our actual needs. You know, I don't, I have a vitamin D deficiency, so I take vitamin D. I have a hard time getting enough protein, so I take a protein shake. I don't always get my greens in on a regular basis, so I use a green juice occasionally. But at the same time, we didn't want that to convolute the message that we had been giving for so long. And not long, not long ago, 
I was kind of pushing back on the boys because one of the things we do talk about in, you know, especially in the bodybuilding fitness industry is people push the amount of protein, oh, two to three grams per pound of body weight, because of course they want you to buy more bars, more shakes to hit those protein intake. And so, you know, the boys come out and they talk a lot about how it's, you don't need nowhere near as much as that. But then I would let, I would tell them that, listen, even though we don't need that, I actually have a hard time being a 230 pound guy getting the, the the right amount of protein that I need to maintain my lean mass. And so I had still been taking protein and I said, man, I tell you what, guys, I, no matter how much I try to make sure I always get it from Whole Foods, there's a, at least half of the week I'm missing those targets. So I was still, even, even though we we're talking about telling people they don't need that much protein, I was still taking it and had been waiting for the right company to come along that we felt like their message kind of aligns with us. So it's really kind of neat. Right. And uh, it's at the top of the, of the quality chain, right? Like for us, it's like, it's not necessarily like the mentality still exists that I need to go in bulk because, you know, I'm going to need this endless supply of protein where, you know, if we could change that thought process where you need, maybe you need to supplement your protein, but why not do it with the most high quality uh, type of protein that you can get on the market and, and have it organic and not have, you know, the artificial sugars and all these things attached to it. And so, you know, this is where, you know, we start revisiting these things and, and, and looking and we are actually at one point we're thinking ourselves, like maybe we should develop this ourselves. Yeah. We almost made our own mind. (laughs) What? Yeah. That's a monster by the way. Yeah. We, (laughs) We backpedaled quickly. uh, We have no desire anymore, Drew, to to step into your world whatsoever. Because no thanks. We and we uh, we're (laughs) Justin's right. I mean, we had. We were going to these farms, testing all this out. We had consulted with a few people. We even had somebody that was going to head it up that department for us. And we all just kind of finally looked at each other and said, like, we have too much on our fucking plate yeah. with everything let's else. Let's just podcast good. Yeah, let's do yeah. what we do yeah. well. Sooner or later, the time will come. We will find the right person. We'll find the right company that has a similar message as we do, that has got all these things in line already. It will happen. And if they don't exist now, we'll eventually find them. And so it was pretty awesome the way this all kind of unfolded. Yeah, let's talk about your how you source uh, your products. You had mentioned uh, about how that's very important to you and how that may, that drives the cost up and maybe not, you know, initially sounding like a great business idea, but obviously it's worked out well for you. Let's talk about sourcing. Where do you source your products? And where, let's maybe we'll start with protein. Like, where do you get the sources for your protein powder? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I have one of the best supply chain managers in the country. Like this guy, I actually met him at Cafe Gratitude. He was the general manager there. I met him uh, about a year ago, year and a couple months, Niels. And he was managing the whole entire restaurant and the supply chain. Cafe Gratitude's this vegan place. So he had a lot of connections and contacts in there. And uh, his heart was for it, right? Because he had been watching Fit Life TV and our YouTube videos for about three and a half years. And um, I'm kind of like us at Cafe Gratitudes and Whole Foods and markets and stuff. I'm kind of like that guy that was popular in high school at a different <laughs> school. Like you didn't go to the school, but he was popular and you kind of just, you know, it's weird. Mm-hmm. So he came up to me and he's like, hey, man, like I've been watching your show. I'd love to be a part of the team. And then he just he came with this whole um onslaught of different local farms he was using, different um, resource, different contract manufacturers, even different uh, formulators. Because there's the whole process of formulation as well, because you want it to taste good. You know, we spend a lot of time going back and forth with uh, dozens of different iterations to make sure that if we're making a green juice, that it's something that 98% of the country could drink, especially in middle America. I'm from Michigan, so we want them to be able to drink it. So choosing a crop that's organic, that uh, has a, a good mint uh, taste to it and testing the mint on an individual level. You know, maybe we try Arizona, which is a little bit drier than, say, Northern California, where there's another mint farm. And really mixing that with the moringa leaf that you can get in Guatemala or, um, you know, the turmeric that we get in, at an organic, the only organic turmeric farm in all of India. So it's it's making sure that the supply is coordinated and it's matching the flavor that we're trying to create as well. Because there's been some batches, guys, where we'll get an Organifi test batch and we'll be like, why does this taste? It's not as sweet as the last batch. 
It's, it doesn't taste as good. It's, it doesn't have the roundness of the flavor. The coconut crystals are off because in Thailand, you know, maybe they went through a little drought or something that wasn't enough nutrients in the soil. So it's this constantly like evolving thing, especially wow. when you're dealing with food. And that's the difference between taking a pill and making a superfood extract that tastes good. I, so I'm not going to lie. Your, your green, green juices almost always taste horrible. Not going to lie. I mean, I've drinking green powder juice before for some of their benefits, but they almost never taste good. Yours doesn't taste like yeah. the typical green juice. It's I that mean, mint. The mint makes it taste it's, hella good. It's, it's, it's kind of magical. It's very, it's <laughs> actually, it's, it. it's that, no, that was the sale. That was like one of the closers. Like we were like, okay, green juice, you know, this is going to taste like grass because they all taste like grass. It actually tastes good. Like what, what's, what's going on? <laughs> what are you guys doing in there to makes it well, taste like that? Yeah, so it's the Lohan Go, which is monk fruit, which doesn't actually increase your insulin at all either. So with this ketogenic craze and you guys, I mean, obviously you're all man beasts. You don't want your insulin too out of whack because you're going to put on a bunch of tummy Sal's fat. Sal's the hairiest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hairy beast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so monk fruit's absolutely amazing. It's, zero, it's sometimes three to 400 times sweeter than cane sugar. And it actually has medicinal benefits as well. And the reason they call it monk fruit is because a bunch of monks in the Himalayas actually eat the berries every day. And it um, gives you like this calm feeling too. So some people experience like this mental calmness when they drink Organifi. And the monk fruit is actually part of it. The mint, the coconut crystals. And then also using uh, real food extracts like lemon to round out the flavor of Organifi was key in getting the flavor notes to be what it is today. Mm. And um, red juice. Have you guys tried the red juice yet? I haven't tried that. that I haven't tried either. Okay. So we're sending you some red juice. We just put it out last week. Literally, we're about to sell out of our first order. But um, it is literally tastes like fruit punch or uh, Kool-Aid. When you were a kid, you remember the Hawaiian punch <laughs> con- containers? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Instead of that, it's like, ooh, yeah. And you think <laughs> this because oh, yeah. it is revisited, no sugar, like less than one gram from the beets, the cranberry, the rhodiola. It's got the king of mushrooms, reishi in it. It's got cordyceps, which you guys have oh, probably read wow. the study in the 1980s. Cool. Three Chinese women uh, won like three gold medals and they, were, they looked at their blood work and they found that... Uh, uh, cordyceps was one of the things that they were taking to increase the ATP and the mitochondrial function. They thought they were actually on steroids because of cordyceps. Wow, this uh, is huge. I, you know, so, I actually I actually love cordyceps. I've uh, supplemented them uh, with them in the past, um, especially for endurance. Some interesting studies on cordyceps. It's a pretty cool uh, herb, or actually, it's not even an herb, right? It's a fungus that grows on caterpillars or something like that. Yeah, it starts, it uh, takes the body of a caterpillar Weird. and then spreads itself up mountains and, and everywhere else. And it's crazy for ATP. It's insane at how much energy it can produce in your body. People with uh, renal kidneys going on, like liver type stuff, like they've done a lot of research in regards to cordyceps now and it's it's really fascinating stuff. So question, Drew, uh, with your protein powder, that's probably, uh, I know Adam raves about it. He's been talking about it for a while now. We haven't been, We haven't really brought it up on the show yet. Um, and because we wanted to make sure we, you know, all really like the product, which we all do. Um, but your protein powder, why did you go the plant based route? Uh, which by the way, I appreciate because I can't, uh, dairy, I can't have dairy at all. So whey protein casein, but I can't have it cause it just destroys my stomach. Um, yeah. but why did you go the plant based route? Was there a, a particular reason? Was it because the guy you were working with? And how of- hard was that to get the, the, the enough protein in it to be a good, because that's the other thing, because sometimes you get these plant-based ones and it's like eight grams of protein in it. It's like, fuck, well, what am I going to drink that yeah. protein shake for? It's only got eight grams of protein. I need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so about two, and, and I'm going to get vulnerable with you guys. I haven't really shared this, but about two and a half years ago, I got what's called a gout attack. Mm. Gout, and I am, um, at the time I was like, 33, 34 years old, and I'm thinking, what the hell? I'm way too young to be experiencing this. And I was eating about 250 grams of protein a day. And mainly it was coming from red meat and it was coming from whey protein shakes. Hmm. I was also juicing, right? I was juicing greens. I was eating a lot of salads, but I looked at my liver blood test and it was inflamed a little bit. So I started to back off the meat. I got another blood test in three months. Didn't really change much. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to eliminate these whey protein shakes. 
So, and I was taking a pretty good protein. It wasn't grass fed from New Zealand, but it was like the best stuff you could get in San Diego at the time. And I cut that out. My liver enzymes uh, returned to normal. And um, I'm like, well, how else am I going to supplement protein? So I started experimenting with different plant-based proteins. And I'm like, they all taste gritty. They taste like ass. This is the worst protein I've ever had in my life. And uh, I'm like, you know what? We get to make a plant-based protein that tastes like ice cream right. or cookies or something that people love that has high amounts of protein, that has whole food natural vitamins versus synthetic shit that you guys just pee out anyway. Mm. Right. So we put whole food vitamins in there from different fruit and vegetables. And uh, we put coconut for the MCTs. You get the fat in there. And I, I believe we created a superior product in the marketplace and mm. it's I take it every day, sometimes twice a day. I, I make different types of food with it. You can make some killer pancakes, waffles, because um, there's it's really low in sugar, but it, you can make really, really good stuff as well as have a midday protein shake to give you energy as well. well. It's and this is, it's definitely the best tasting um, non dairy protein I've ever had. That's, yeah, no, that's 100 for sure. Yeah. You know, it's important too to get, kind of piggyback off what you're saying right now. This is why it's not like the cheapest protein shake on the market or the cheapest you know uh your green drink because of what you guys are putting into it you made a point about you know what a lot of these companies do is use all the synthetic vitamins just so they can say that it's in there and you like you said you're just peeing it right out your body's not even getting really lots of the benefits but it's more expensive to go the route you are so I think yeah. it's I think it's important to note that because I think always sometimes consumers they think right away like oh does it taste good is it the cheapest and it's like that doesn't always that's, work that that's way that's a great that's a great point Adam uh, Drew if you wouldn't mind talk because again we we keep it very transparent with our audience and your products are on the higher end of uh, of yeah. cost uh, can we, would you mind talking about that a little bit why you guys are more expensive than uh, maybe some of your competitors. Well, if you go to the grocery store and obviously you look at organic versus non-organic, there's a big difference because number one, and it's kind of BS, but number one is it cost us, one of our uh, manufacturing facilities, $180,000 just to get it approved to say we could use the USD organic seal. Wow. So mm. that's kind of a big racket in and of itself, right? Yeah, that's somebody's nice ass salary. Don't, just right don't, there. don't get me started yeah. on that. Oh, man. <laughs> it's all bull. It's all BS. Um, but essentially, the way that the crops are managed, the way that they're taken care of, they're constantly getting tested. Ours, our, even our product, each batch gets tested multiple times for different things, heavy metals, you know, everything that's in there. Some products get tested like once a year. And you never know because products are continuously changing, the environments, the crops. Um, that's a great as point. An example, the whole food vitamins – like my formulator came back to me and he's like, you guys probably don't want to do this because per every unit, it's an extra dollar seventy one per unit for your whole food vitamins and minerals. Yeah. He's like, not only that, it's really bitter and it's going to be insanely hard to make it taste good because of the magnesium, the minerals, the everything else that is certified organic and still would fall into 100 or USDA certified organic. I'm like, I don't care what it takes. Let's make it happen because nobody else has done this. You got to be the first in the marketplace, I think. And if it costs a lot more to do it, then that's just, it is what it is. You've created a superior product, a superior product. And, um, I think it, it's worth every single penny when it comes to your health. Oh, definitely. You know, and people, the type, you know, who will appreciate this? The same type of people that shop at Whole Foods. You know, you appreciate that. Yeah. When when you know what you're when you start to care about what you're putting in your body, it's not a, it's not a big deal that that avocado cost you a dollar something more or that fruit or vegetable cost you three dollars more because you know where you, where it's getting sourced and where it's coming from and how much better it is for your body. Well, the places that we that people try to save money on are probably the places they should try. Yeah. They should not be so worried about, you know, cutting every corner um, and food happens to be one of them. You brought something yep. up uh, interesting, uh, Drew. You said that you guys test your batches with, is that with independent laboratories? Yeah, we test even outside of what the formulator and the manufacturing facilities that we use do. Um, our probiotics, 
protein, green juice. We're always testing on our end as well, just to make sure that, you know, you never know. Like if some, somebody comes in, big brother comes in to analyze all your stuff, you want to make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Mm. Uh, is that accessible to a consumer? Would they be able to see, uh, you know, the, yeah. the results of these? Oh, wow. Okay. We have we have that accessible, I believe, and we also did our own clinical trials on Organifi Green Juice, which most supplement companies will never do because it is insanely expensive to do your own clinical trials. Let me tell you, and it takes forever <laughs> to get it, even like university published, different things like that. Um, we did the clinical trials on green juice to a very few number of people. I think it was like 50 or 60 people in our group. Um, and it doesn't matter how big it is. It's just, it's expensive to go through this arduous process. And what we found was, is it actually helped with body composition. It improved, uh, helped with weight loss, mental clarity. It actually lowered depression on the Beck's depression scale. Oh, wow. So, and that's the green juice. We have yet to do clinicals on the Organifi protein um, but I'd like to see some weight loss in there for that. And then also the red juice, um, mitochondrial health, anti-aging and energy would be a really cool thing to look at as far as um, the red juice is concerned. I, I love that you guys have the faith too to put a 60 day money back guarantee. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know anybody else that gives that kind of a, that length of a, uh, a, a money back guarantee on a, a supplement or a product. Um, what, what went into your thought process of, of putting that together and how has that worked out for you? Well, I think we might actually make it a year, to be honest. Oh, wow. We were talking about that at our last meeting. That's confidence. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing, <laughs> the thing about it is, guys, like at the end of the day, if you drink Organifi Green Juice and I helped improve your life, uh, you had more energy, maybe you, you had more mental clarity, you started a ritual that impacted you, you're still doing after a month and a half that you weren't doing before, you're taking time for yourself, and um, you paid me, you know, 59 bucks or whatever it was for one of our products, 89 for the protein or whatever. And at the end of it, it's empty. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to get my money back on this. That's cool with me because I know that the universe is abundant and it will always reward those who are willing to go out and help other people change their lives. So that's kind of the philosophy behind it. Uh, we have an empty container policy. If you drink it, you don't like it. If you don't like the mailman, send it back. If you don't like the way it tastes, the way it smells, whatever reason you want to send it back for, we, we really stand behind our money back guarantee. And you have to nowadays with consumer goods, with products online. I you mean, know, it, it's just the game that we're playing because well, you could get slayed in a second with reviews and everything else from a business standpoint. And you don't want to go down that path. And a lot of people are scared to do that. They, a lot of people thought we were crazy when we offered these programs online and also gave the same thing. And the way we looked at it, because you know, there's always going to be somebody who tries to scam you for a dollar. Like, that's just inevitable. But I believe if you if you truly are trying to help others and you have a product that you know is going to change a lot of people's lives, then you're not afraid of those couple of people that are going to be like that because you're going to be rewarded by all the other people that it ends up changing. Something else I, th I thought that was really cool. You guys provide a lot of like recipes um, and these recipes are pretty legit. They're all, of course, food based and you can use some of your products to add flavor or to add you know, a better nutrient profile. Like how deep is that recipe list? This looks, it looks like something you guys, you were working on longer than even with the, 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 your, the selling your Organifi products. Yeah. Um, we've been collecting recipes and creating them for the past six and a half years. Things that we like, uh, every Wednesday we have a wellness Wednesday episode. That's a live video on Facebook. We're doing a recipe. Um, we got like three or four, I think three holistic nutritionists on staff now that love to cook, that love to make food. We have a couple chefs. So we're just, we're always like having food get togethers and gatherings. Mm. And um, when we do that, we write down the recipes and we just post them for our audience to enjoy as well. We're a bunch of foodies over here. So when you guys come to San Diego, let me know and yeah. we will whip up some food I that will you will, it. you'll, you'll be like, what? This was made with, <laughs> yeah. a, <laughs> with a friggin' superfood. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. We'll do that for sure. Um, looking ahead here, we're all we're all in the same industry, just doing different things. What has been your strategy for growth for your business? Like, I, I, obviously, you guys are looking at some podcasts, and um, you know, how are you guys growing so much? Is it a lot of word of mouth, or what's your strategy at this moment? 
So my personal strategy, because I'm, you know, the CEO and the visionary behind it, it's to accelerate other leaders in my business. So the thing that I'm thinking about every day is how can I help another leader in the organization evolve and be the cause of cause? So I'm consistently taking my employees out on what I call like day dates Mm. where I hang out with them. I get inside their head. I help them remove any blockages that they have about the funnel or about their business, you know, our, our chief marketing Um, director, our human resource director. So all the C-level people I'm focused on, I think from a business standpoint, you know, if you talk to my operations guy, he would be more focused on, well, how many subscribers do we have? Mm. And that's the rocket scientist, right? So how do we create our subscribership like um, more fun and engaging for our community? Let's create a club. Let's give them discounts on local businesses that may be in their area. And we're always doing these things. We're always reinventing ourselves. We're constantly shifting on different platforms to create the largest impact. Facebook's been our biggest up to this point, but now we're, you know, we run a significant amount of ads on YouTube, Snapchat and Instagram. We're getting into a little bit more here and there, building relationships with other affiliates um, like you guys and sponsoring different podcasts that we believe have the best information on the planet when it comes to fitness and health and changing people's bodies and mindsets like you guys. Very cool. And um, that, that's really been the biggest thing. It's like targeting those influencers, people that make a difference and giving them a product that they can't get anywhere else. Well, very awesome. cool. Yeah, we appreciate um, I mean, we appreciate the conversation. So far, I've for me, um, I use protein powders uh, maybe twice a week, and um, yours is definitely one of my favorites that I've ever used. So that'll be the one I'll be using from now on. Uh, I can't, but, but I can't wait th- to try the red juice. Well, the, the big thing for me was I take a probiotic uh, every day um, because I've, I've expressed on the show many, many times that I've dealt with gut issues, and they seem to be more prevalent um, today than ever before, especially in the fitness community. And I've replaced my old probiotic with yours, which I was very skeptical when I got it. Uh, probiotics either do they either work really well for me, which is rare, or they do the opposite, and I have a bad reaction. And yours was uh, really good, so that's the one um, that I use now. And uh, Adam, uh, he's been using your protein now, pretty what once a day at least, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm about once a day. So I mean, if I hit it Whole Foods on a on a day, so I'm always targeting Whole Foods first and going that route. But if uh if I have to, I end up doing a shake. And so it's about every day or every other day, I end up using a shake for sure. All right, appreciate the the the, the conversation, and uh, we look forward to working with you, my friend. I love it. I'm looking forward to it, guys. All right, Drew. All right. Thanks, Drew. You have Thanks, a good Drew. one. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.